Hey guys, Hokey Homebrew here. Welcome back to another Homebrew Wednesday. Today, I'm going to give you an update on the Hokey Homebrew yeast experiment because I know it's been a while since I've talked about it and uh, I haven't really made any videos on it. I've been really, really busy lately and I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's still going on. Everything's still smooth. Uh, I've been watching all your videos. Haven't had much time to comment on all of them, but I've been watching them all, so cheers on that. So, um, so far, no one's told me they've dropped out, so that's good. I've seen uh, most of your videos, so I know most everyone has brewed. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, I got a package today from Wayner665. Thank you. Uh, you had the uh, Y Yeast 1098 British Ale. He's already sent them to me. So there's the first package. He sent, um, sent them across the border, I believe, from Canada. So we know that works. And uh, thanks for the extra money uh, for the Canadian shipping or whatever you said. I appreciate that. I didn't think about uh, shipping was going to be a little bit more for people in Canada. So thanks for throwing in the extra dollars. Uh, let's see, but everyone else seems to be on target. I saw RK High 6 video the other day. Uh, Puka NC, uh, he already is about to send out his beers. Um, hockey player, SJ Poor. Let's see, who have I not heard from? Hmm. Well, obviously, Homebrew Heaven guy, Kyle. Uh, I don't know if you have a YouTube name or not. If you do, comment below and tell me that it's you. Uh, otherwise, Dorf, let me know, uh, is he still in or what? And uh, let's see, Mr. Sumdrunk, you're still in. Let's. I guess I haven't heard from Ops Check Good. Uh, Safale 04 is what you chose. Let me know if, uh, if you're still in. Other than that, everyone's in, and uh, we're doing good. So anyways, going to try a new beer today. Sam Adams, Mighty Oak Ale. It's one of the, uh, in their sampler packs, or in their brewer's choice. It says, distinct notes of oak come through in the flavor of this smooth amber ale. The vanilla and caramel character from the oak is balanced by the malty sweetness and roasted notes from our blend of four malts for a long, dry finish. Cheers. So... Um, yeah, so for those of you in it, um, you're still good. People are sending out their beers now. Uh, we're shooting to be uh, tasting around the 1st of April or so. So that gives you um, a couple weeks to uh, bottle up and then a couple weeks before you have to ship. Uh, let me see, actually, I might be wrong. What's the day? Today is February 21st, so yeah, you need to have them bottled and shipped out within the next couple weeks, two to three weeks, I think is what we said. So uh, let me know if that's going to be a problem for any of you guys. And um, if you forgot any of the details, go back and watch the, the old videos. Um, other than that, I don't have much to say. Let's try this oak ale. Wow, no head whatsoever. Look at that. That's interesting. Huh, there's not much oak in that. I don't, I don't taste a lot of oak. It's very sweet. Hmm. It's almost got like a cherry-like taste to it. Anyways, I'm just watching some videos. I've been falling behind. I've been like two weeks behind on uh, Homebrew Wednesday videos. There are just so many people now, I can't keep track. Um, Uvu, by the way, uh, Glitch, I got your message, so let me know when you're ready to Uvu. He bought a camera, so he's going to join us. Uh, I haven't been on myself in a really long time. Um, Bruin and Kewin, thank you for calling me at 4 a.m. like 40 times that one night. I heard it from the bedroom ringing when I was sleeping. It was in my dreams, man. It was in my dreams. So anyways, uh, this is a pretty much a pointless video, but... Um, just wanted you to know to bottle your beer, send them out, send me any emails if you have questions. It's still on. I know I haven't said much about the experiment lately, but it's still on. Everything's good. Um, and if you dropped out and I didn't realize it, let me know. So, cheers, guys. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. All right, guys. Uh, also, I don't know if I've showed you recently the uh, additions to the man room. Um, first and foremost, I got this cool picture here that says man cave. 
My parents gave that to me. I thought it was pretty cool. It's nice and elegant looking. What the hell is wrong with my camera? I hate when it does that. Like the camera is standing perfectly still and it is still you can't focus. I don't understand that. Anyways, that picture's there. And um I got the I don't remember if I yeah, I showed you the couch over here. Uh, I got a lamp. I know it's simple, but it ties the room together and it makes it feel really homey in here. Like especially now. Got the lights set, you know, the main lights out, but I got the lamps going. It's really, you know, just a comfortable setting in here. So a little lamp over there. And then I don't know if I showed you guys this. New TV. I told y'all it was coming. Um oops. Trying to get it on a good channel here. Well, I guess this is good enough. Yep, it's a 46 inch Vizio TV. And um, man, I was gonna get a Samsung, but honestly, this next to the Vizio or next to the Samsung in the store was even better than the damn Samsung. I was convinced Samsung's the best, and I'm still convinced, but if you buy the right kind of Vizio, you can get really good quality out of it. Alright, I'm not finding a good channel here. Let's find like CNN or something. Where the hell is CNN? So anyways, the quality is amazing. Uh, it's 240 hertz, so it's actually better than the Samsung. 120 hertz, it's got a faster refresh rate. It's 1080p, of course. LED, 46 inch, Vizio. Got it on sale. It's a 3D TV as well, so it can do 3D movies. Uh, came with four pairs of 3D glasses, the TV, and um, it was 800 bucks. Got it on a good deal. Um, if you go look at the TVs on there, they're pretty expensive, so I think it was a good deal. And so those, and then I got the wall mount, which just makes it awesome. So it's hanging on the wall, which just, you know, that makes a huge difference. So, and there we are. We're back to the normal room. So over here is where we got to put our bar whenever it comes in. And so that's the next step. Next edition, hopefully the final edition. There might be one more. Um, I'm gonna possibly get a curio. I don't know if you guys know what a curio is, but it's basically like just a big glass cabinet, like a display case. Cause I've got, I collect pint glasses from breweries. That's kind of a thing I do. And I've got a million of them. And you know, I save them up and I want somewhere to display one of each of the ones that I have. So I want to get like a, like a nice big glass case that has lighting on the inside and everything. And that's a curio. So if I got one of those, it would have to go on this wall, obviously, because there's nowhere else for it to fit in this room. So if I did that, I'd put the curio there and then I would put the bar underneath the TV right there where the bookshelf is. And that would work out perfectly actually. So um, yeah, yeah, and I got this cool new sign here for all my beers on tap. Yeah, Kelsey, my girlfriend, obviously did the handwriting. I'm not talented in that regard. So we got the damn good lager on tap one, smoked porter on tap two, rice so serious barley wine, number four is empty, and five is the super massive black IPA, and six is empty. Six is the nitro tap up there. And I'm gonna be brewing an Irish stout here for St. Patrick's Day. It's getting a little late, but I'm gonna do it and put that on there. But anyways, updates guys, so you can see how the room's coming along. Cheers.